What's going on, Internet? It is your boy, Eric Banholtz with Beard Brand. We're here in the Beard Brand office on a Friday afternoon. We are heading down to 6th Street here in Austin to get some feedback from people and what they think about beards. Let's go. Hey, we've got a YouTube channel called Beard Brand. All right. And uh, we're just on the street asking some people uh, some questions about their beards. Okay. You want to answer some questions, man? Sure. Great beard, man. What, how long you been growing? Uh, I don't know, honestly. It hasn't been too long, though. I, maybe a year? Yeah, what, what made you grow your beard? Laziness. Laziness? You got some awesome red color going on there, man. I don't know where it came from. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> are you going to be growing it any longer? Are you going to let it keep probably. on? Probably. I'll probably let it grow a little bit longer. For how much? I don't know, until I get sick of it, I guess. Yeah, do you ever go completely shaved? Shaved? Yes. Oh, Sometimes. Yeah. For Halloween, most of the time. What, will you play up as a, a role then? Yeah, I, I dress up as the Joker sometimes, so can't really have a beard when you're the Joker. Why so serious, dude? Why so serious? What's going on, man? We got a beard channel. Hey, how you doing? Doing well, doing well. We got a beard channel called uh, Beard Brand. We're talking about beards. Notice you got a pretty fine beard. Hey, thank you. I just trimmed it yesterday. Just trimmed it yesterday. How long you been growing? Uh, like three months. Yeah, what would you say is the best thing about your beard? Well, I can't really tell us there, but my girlfriend loves it. Hey, Joy. Are you uh, planning to grow a little bit longer? Or are you going to keep it that length? I actually had it longer, and then it got like a little wild. So I was like, I'll go get it trimmed down. So I'm going to keep it like this. Yeah, what's, what's your number one uh, recommendation for keeping track and, and taming your beard? Keep it moisturized. Like right now, it's dry as I just left the house. <laughs> yeah, I didn't put anything on there. Sorry for cursing. But uh, I think moisturization is the best It's the best key for it. Do you have any recommended products? Uh, I use the stuff that I use on my horse's hair, which is mane and tail. Works pretty good. <laughs> That's awesome, man. My name is Antonio. They call me Boogie. Follow me on YouTube, Antonio Clark. Oh, cool. I mean, not YouTube, Facebook. <laughs> there you go. Beards? Beards. Oh, beards. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit. Uh, is that, hey, is that your friend? No, I don't know him. <laughs> I think you're lying. Come back, Chase. Chase! Wait, he doesn't know me anymore. So okay. Uh, how long have you been growing your beard? Uh, since senior year of high school. So how long is that? Uh, two years now. What's the best thing about having a beard? Street cred. And it makes me look a lot older than I am. What's the worst thing about having a beard? Soup. Soup, I can agree with that. How long are you going to grow your beard or are you going to keep it that length? Right now I'm going to trim it every day, but at some point I would like to get it to where it hits my toes. There you go, going for terminal length. What is your number one grooming technique that you'd offer for other beard guys out there? Uh, beard oil. You think, you think you don't need it, but you do. Beard oil. Beard oil is the crack for the beard. All right, anything you'd like to add? That's about it. Thank you. Do you love your beard? With my heart and soul. There you go. Uh, we'd, we'd love to ask like the beardsmen out there what they think about their beards. Oh, I think um, we should make a new law in Texas, especially in Austin. People without beard, they, would need, they need to move out to Colorado. Guys right. with beard have to be here in Austin. I love that rule. How long have you been growing? Uh, I'm a Sikh, so we never cut our beard. Uh, I just trimmed it for some medical reason. But being a Sikh, we never cut our hairs our whole life. Yeah, man. Sikhs are huge in the bearded community, that's for yes, sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where, are you fr here from Austin? Uh, I'm from Waco originally, but uh, it's been a few years in Austin now. What would you say is your number one advice when it comes to taking care and grooming your beard? Uh, I think um, being a man, it's a pride. And you don't compromise with who you are. So uh, beard is a manlyhood thing, so keep it. Yeah, so and I like your mustache too, by the way, brother. Thank you, thank you. It's really grown on me over the years. So do you have any grooming tips for our audience out there? Uh, I would say uh, there is an oil called mustard oil. It's very smelly. It smells, but don't use it too much, little bit, like little bit. And it's very good for your hairs and it's like it works for everybody. My dad has this huge hair, uh, beard and it's like fantastic. Nice. Are you going to grow your beard back out or do you have to keep yeah, it pretty I'm going to grow my beard back up. Yeah, my hair is at this big actually. Nice. Yeah. Now. When you, when you become governor, you're going to... I'm going to make a law in Austin. 
people in Travis County have to have a beard. Yeah, or some kind of <laughs> or, fish. Or, or girls who date guys without beard, they won't be allowed to do that no more. Yeah, there they you have go. to have to date a guy with beard. Awesome. So we're talking about beards, man. You got the like the scruff goatee. <laughs> yeah, but you know, um, it's funny because my nuts have a have like the whole Abraham Lincoln going. Oh yeah, yeah. So like the chin strap like, on the beard. Like, like clean them top, but yeah, but you know, long from. You know, nuts, nuts down. You know, you keep it real. It, man. What are you wearing? You How uh, it. have you ever grown your beard out? I have once or twice. You know. You, you want to see a picture of it? Yeah, let's see it. Look at, dude. Can we, can we get that? You got to grow that back out, dude. Dude, this is a half Korean, half German beard. Oh yeah. It's pretty shitty. So is, is all the growth coming from the, the German side? Uh, dude, I got the hairiest ass. Check out the Berkeley Chop Shop in Detroit. Best barber shop around. They groom beards. Say that again. The Berkeley Chop Shop in Detroit. Ask for J-Bone. Are you from Detroit? I am, and I built that barber shop. Dude. Yes. TCB, bitches. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Anyone I touch will be the Ace of Spades. Guaranteed. Okay. Are th all these cards Ace of Spades? Flippity three over first. Okay. Uh, eight. Seven. Six. Ah! <laughs> That's actually pretty good. <laughs> I'm a magician! All right, so including the ones that you just flipped over, do you remember where they are? It will still be the ace of spades, whatever you touch. Okay. So, uh, I touch the same cards? Any or? one you want. Okay. So, what am I, this is an ace of spades. It will be if you touch it. Okay, I just have to touch it. Just touch it. Okay. You sure? 100%. You're gonna pick the eight of diamonds, man. Any one. Alright, what's it gonna be? Eight of diamonds. Eight of diamonds. Any card. Any card. This one right here. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna pick. Let's go with four hearts. Say that again. Four hearts. And there it is. There it is. Thank you so much, guys. What's your name? Daniel. Do you have a website or anything to promote? I don't. Just come out here to Austin any particular days? Most days. Most days is what I do. <laughs> there you go. Now that you've made it to the end of the video, go ahead and treat yourself to some fine beard brand products over on our shop. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to do that. And finally, keep on watching some more of our awesome videos.